Okay, so now we're going to um, look at a couple of different ways um, to add a content section to your modules. We already looked at using the um, built-in editor, so there are two other options. And uh, so we're gonna, going to look at those now. So we're going to add another section to week one. So I'm selecting week one and clicking add content. So I'm going to call this um, worksheet because this is going to be a document I'm going to upload. Uh, I can put instructions in here. Um, And then what kind of uh, modalities uh, are in this? This is just textual this time. Now I need to choose the upload a file option. Upload or link to a file. Click that. Wait. Okay, and then after the page reloads, scroll down. And now below the content type, I have this upload file and it says select but there are no files yet so I click select and as I said there are no files here so I need to browse find the file And then if I want this to open in a new window, um, it doesn't really matter because this is a, a document, it's going to open in the document um, that's uh, programmed on their computer for this type of file anyway. Um, but um, let's say if it were um, a PDF file, which PDFs can open in the browser window themselves, uh, you could choose open in a new window here if you wanted to. Click continue. And so now that file I just uploaded is shown here. There's the name of the file that I just uploaded. Again, you've got the option to open it in a new window if you want to. Scroll down and you can add a description for this. And then your copyright status again. And then click done. Take a look at that. Click view. Here's that one we just added, the worksheet. Click on it. And as I said, because it's a file, it doesn't open in the browser. It asks you, usually it'll ask you how you want to open it um, or if you want to save it. So the default is uh, on mine right now is open with Microsoft Office Word. So I'll select that, click OK. And let me get this window situated here. So there's the file I just uploaded. So I'm going to close that. All right, so let's look at the um, one, the other way here to add content. Uh, to your modules. So select the module, week one, click add content. Give it a title. Instructions if you want. because I'm linking to a website, I want to let them know what they're supposed to do once they're there. So there's, I'm sure, visual content on this uh, website. I should check it to know if there's auditory or not. Um, 
let's say I already checked it and I know that there is, so I'm going to select that. Okay, so what kind of content type is this? This is a link to a new or existing URL. Okay, it's a new one because I haven't put it in my site yet, so select that and wait for the page to reload. Okay, so now link to new URL. That's what we want, we want to do. Um, click select. So now we need to provide the new URL. So I'm going to go to the website here, copy this URL. Oops. Okay, let me get that back. Control keys in a different spot on this computer. Okay, so copy that. Go back to your site that you're editing and paste that URL in. I want to get rid of the HTTP this time because I copied it. Okay, and what's the title of this? Um, I'm going to type that in. and I want this to open in a new window. So I'm going to click continue. Okay, so here's that website. We already put it in. It shows it here. It shows that I told it to open in a new window. The title typed in. If I want to add a description, I can. That's optional. And um, I have not determined the copyright. We'll keep that selected. And I'm going to click done. All right, now let's take a look at that. We sh we have it showing here, but we want to look at it as a student would view it. So click View, click on it, and here are my instructions. Explore this website, and you click on it, and there it is. It opens in a new tab. Mine is set to open in tab, so go back to Class tab. And that's it.